We're right here in the 2021 SEMA show in Las Vegas Convention Center. I'm here with Mark from JMS and he's actually here to showcase a couple new products and a couple familiar products. Can you go ahead and let me know what you guys have come up with? Sure, Ernesto. Uh, first, originally with the original Pedal Max, uh, what we all pretty much know on a fly-by-wire car, it does have throttle lag. The original Pedal Max was designed to eliminate the pedal position lag between the throttle body and your input from the accelerated pedal position. We took that, we spun it around, and we came up with the Pedal Max Terrain. And so the Pedal Max Terrain actually can take away throttle response for say like a four-wheel drive vehicle, something that's in the sand, in the mud, uh, rock crawlers, that kind of thing. So it has a throttle control now that the user can actually slow the throttle down and not spin the tire or, or dig deep. And then we took the Pedal Max Terrain and actually turned it into a speed limiting device. So basically it's called our Fleet Max and our Fleet Max does pretty much about the same thing. It monitors the ABS sensor on the front wheel and basically what it does is it you program it to set a speed and when it sets a speed you unplug it and it actually programs the box. So what it does is no matter what throttle position it is, it'll monitor the speed and it'll oscillate the throttle body to keep the speed. So this particular product is our Traction Max. So anything that would say have like a thousand wheel horsepower, you're in a situation where uh, these factory supercharged cars have uh, a lot of power, a lot of torque. So instant throttle would spin the tires. So this device here, you can control the rate of throttle opening no matter what the pedal does. And then also it has a couple of features for a lockout feature for a stick vehicle to where as soon as it goes wide open throttle, now it, it turns on a lock feature in which now the throttle for the next 20 seconds performs like it should. And then also uh, in, on a limited traction situation, you can actually have it so it takes power out of the car. So the throttle blade doesn't open as much and then also it's adjustable on the fly. Basically, for drag racing, it works really good. For off-roading, it works really good. For rock crawling, it works really good. And I believe it was originally from the Pedal Max. And then the Fleet Max, and now the Launch Max. Okay, and then this is the latest iteration. This is basically brand new to SEMA? Yes. We just now, they're ready to ship. This, yeah, this was that actual first release. Okay, so it's actually my understanding that you guys have a brand new CD1 box with uh, JMS and Daytona sensors actually working together. Can you tell me a little bit about this? Sure, Ernesto. Uh, this is our CD1 SS box. Um, basically, it's a spec circle track racing box that's designed to replace the old fast crane boxes that are not available anymore. Um, has 135 joules of output. Uh, it is a spec ignition, so basically this is the way it comes out of the box and it, for the organizations, they can plug it in and take it out. So if they have a box or suspect the box that's defective or somebody's cheating, you can just simply unbolt it. All They're all the same and so they're interchangeable and it is uh, actually set for 8300 max RPM. CD1 ignition, the CD1 ignition we have it in two different ways. We have the CD1 and then also we have the CD1 Marine. So the Marine version has a couple of features like a idle lockout. So what it does is so when you put the boat in gear and idle drops, it has an idle feature which it actually puts timing in so the boat doesn't stall putting it in gear. On the car versions, the car version actually you can use anything from map sensors. It has uh, three different ignition retards, so GPIOs has three different ones. Controls shift lights, uh, nitrous kits, uh, anything that you really want to program in and out of the GPIOs.